Hey guys, welcome to the Journey Nomad Podcast. You know who it is. Journey Nomad. It's my podcast. But, um, yo, I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for 2018. I want to say thank you to my newfound audience. I want to say thank you to my family. I want to say thank you to my friends. I want to say thank you to my new friends I'm about to make in 2019. I just want to say thank you overall. Thank you for the failures. Thank you for the mishaps, the missteps. Thank you for the lessons learned. I think we all have to take inventory of 2018 and really see where we failed, where we can improve, where we can adjust, and where where can we begin to execute even better. It's a huge, huge thing to go forward when you think this way. You know, having fun is on the top of my list for 2019. Enjoying life is on the top of my list for 2019. Um... You know, 2018 for me was about my purpose, finding things out. I was able to write two books, one called Purpose and the other one called Inside Out. And um, I've always wanted to be an author. And in 2018, I made that happen. And I wasn't even planning to put out the second one. I didn't even know I was going to do that. It came on a whim. I had some ideas, and I put some together, and it, it worked out. I learned a lot about the publishing process by writing a book. The editing piece, which fucking sucks. <laughs> um, but definitely learned a lot. A lot of lessons learned, which is fantastic. So, you know, 2019, you know, as part of that, uh, continue to write, continue to produce content, whether that's for my wife's channel, uh, Lovely Things on YouTube, uh, for, for our podcast that we have together called Couples Corner, and then my podcast, Giant Nomad Podcast. Um, 2019 is going to be a year of just truly executing at a high, high level, pushing myself, um, pushing my family to to levels they never thought they could achieve, uh, really looking for greatness and happiness in, in our journeys. You know, if you if you want to go after your career, that's fantastic, but let's, let's really break it down as far as what you're doing to, to get you to that next step. If you want to become an entrepreneur, what steps are you taking to start your business? If you are an entrepreneur already, already have your own business or businesses, what are you doing to to further maximize on your revenues and income streams? This is huge. This is a conversation you must have with yourself and with your family. You must include people into your into your world so they know exactly what's going on. You know, I taught my sons recently, 19 and 17 year old, about money management because they just received, they just uh, got a job probably maybe a month or two ago. And I let them spend their first fucking paychecks. I said, no, I'm not going to sit down with them at all. I'm going to see what they do with their money. And they fucking spent it like I thought they would. And um, sat down with them and broke it down to them real world expenses to what they have now, how to move money, how to make money, how money is spent. And it was eye-opening for them. But it was even more eye-opening for me and how I didn't get that talk when I was a kid. You know, grew up in the projects in Brooklyn, Bed-Stuy, do or die, you know what I'm saying? And um, wasn't my parents weren't, my parents didn't know shit about fucking finance. My parents didn't know anything. They just knew that they had to pay the fucking bills, you know, keep a roof over our head. Their, their life was just to survive. You know, it wasn't about happiness and let's go do this and vacations and shit like that. I never went on vacation with my mom. Or, or, or my dad, we never went on vacation together. That never happened. That was never a thought. Um, isn't that crazy? That sounds bananas. As, as, I, as I think about it, I've never went on vacation with my mom. Like, it's crazy. Like, every time we went somewhere, like, we went, I remember we, go, we went to Puerto Rico twice, but it was because it wasn't a vacation. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they went to go see... You know, my, my mother went to go see her mom. She wasn't doing well. But it wasn't a vacation. It wasn't like, yo, let's kick up and do this. Um, But, you know, either way, 2018 is really about taking that inventory, really figuring things out about what is true to your next steps, what is true to your next endeavors, and making something happen for yourself. It's, it's time for, for you to really look at 2019 and say, what am I going to do differently? How am I going to execute? You know, who you're going to include or maybe delete from your life. 
not just from the Facebook page, but truly, like, you know, sometimes you need to move people around. Um, you, you may be surprised about the person you may lay back in your life that may bring added value to what you're doing. You know, so never count people out, never count things out at all. Always be open to any idea of someone coming in and contributing to your value and to your, your ideals. Stay open-minded in 2019. I can't express that enough. If you find yourself being a closed-minded person or someone who doesn't take criticism well, learn how to take that. I've learned that in my career, my long career, that criticism is, is look, I sort after it. And people are amazed in how I take it, how I digest it, and then how I fucking apply it. I'm always asking people how to get better. What do they see in me? You know, what, what, what strengths do actually you see that's, that's great, what, what stuff that's concerning you? And they can't believe how I take this information and how I devour it and, and I need it, I want it, because I, I desire to be better every single day. I desire to be better all the time. You need to do the same exact thing for yourself. Figure out what that is. Make things happen for yourself. Dream big. Dream, dream really fucking big. Make things fucking just be so out there that you know it, it, you think you think you can't reach it, but you really fucking can because you have it in you. You have it fucking in you. I can't stress that shit enough, man. Like people kind of just mess up on that. I don't know why, but man, you know, you know, it's it's Christmas Day right now. I'm about to release this podcast. Everyone is sleeping right now. Still, seven o'clock in the morning. And, you know, we, we celebrate Christmas Eve. So we were up late last night and stuff like that. So everyone's knocked the fuck out. But um, just looking at everybody, just really taking sitting down here. I'm at my dining room table recording this podcast. And taking inventory of 2018. Some successes, some missteps, you know, some strategies that worked, some strategies that didn't work. Unfortunate events that were not planned for or expected, but some some things that happened, and other things came out of it though, which was fantastic. So, having a misstep or, or or unexpected events and then something positive coming out is a great thing. But that also comes down to you focusing and doing something worth that time. You know. So, I I, str- I stress to you, I beg of you. Go after 2019 with a vengeance like you have something to fucking prove but to yourself. Go after 2019 with so much energy and passion and power and purpose that you can fucking move mountains. Go into 2019 knowing that you will fuck up, you will fall, you will fail. You will have bruised knees, but you will get the fuck up and continue to move forward. Go into 2019 open-minded, open-hearted, and willing to accept Criticism. Go into 2019 knowing that you fucking rock and you're the fucking best. And that no matter what comes your way, it's supposed to be there for you, whether it's positive or a challenge. You have to think about these folks, people. You have to think about this. You have to make sure that you put your mindset at a place that you've never been placed before. My mindset's changing. I'm exercising my mind more. I'm listening to certain things more. I'm actually executing. Every day on something. And if you have a partner, you know what I'm saying, your spouse, sync up with them. Learn how to sync up. You know, you can really, you know, learn about your relationship, about when you start talking to someone, about how much you don't really communicate properly with your mate. And how just existing, living together is not communication. Who's going to get the coffee or the milk is not communication. So, guys, take a look back at 2018. Take full inventory. Take full ownership. Then apply that to 2019. And take full ownership. Be an owner of your goals for 2019. Hold yourself fucking accountable. Because no one else is. Yo, I fucking love you guys. I think you guys are amazing. You're fucking badass. And you fucking got this shit. Yo, I'm Johnny Nomad. And I'm out.